I haven't seen another living thing for for a long time. I've been looking for this part for a long time. Ah, look at this. This could come in handy someday. I better get going. It's a long way back. I could get hurt if I try to travel after dark. And I can't afford to let that happen. My name is Jean Rittar. Not that it means anything. Having a name is positively useless when you're all alone. What's the point? It serves no purpose. Anyway, I've been all alone for a long time. I can't be sure how long. I've lost interest in keeping track of time because it doesn't serve any purpose. Several years ago, while rummaging through some newspapers, I came across an article that told of a terrorist group who got their hands on a missile with a nuclear warhead. They launched it into Israel. NATO retaliated instantly, thinking that this was an unprovoked attack. In an instant, every nuclear-armed nation launched their missiles, thinking it was in their best defensive interest. Every large metropolitan area was leveled in a flash. Not long ago, I found the personal diary of Mary Sullivan. Her diary told me that many people survived the initial melee only to die a slow and agonizing death from the after effects of radiation. Mary was one of the last survivors. She apparently saw the worst of it. She also went it alone because her husband had left her. I kept her diary as the only connection I have with another person. I have no idea how I was able to survive the nuclear disaster. And in fact, I have no recollection of any of those deadly events. The earliest memory I have is waking up on a beach one morning. Home at last. 
One of the first major decisions I had to make was where to live. I could have had my choice of any fantastic house I wanted, but that would have made no sense. I chose an industrial area because it gave me the best chance for survival. I always had projects to improve my lifestyle, and the raw materials are most readily available here. When I realized I could do anything I wanted, I collected all the gold and cash and jewels I could find. I am so rich. But it didn't take long to realize that that was a complete waste of time. Well, I hope this one will fix it. The more I think about it, the more sense it makes to move to another place. A change of scenery and possibly finding another person would be a good thing. I haven't seen another living thing for, well, for a long time. Being alone is not good. A guy has to keep up his appearance. You never know when Miss Wright will come along. Or Miss Wrong, for that matter. I picked this building because it's made of solid concrete. I have no fear of it collapsing and it requires no maintenance. Also, because of its size and construction, I could have a fire inside for cooking and warmth. And I don't have to worry about getting killed. But sometimes I regret that. This is my living area. I call it the presidential suite. I eat, sleep, and read here. Reading and singing are my only forms of entertainment. And I'm not a very good singer. But there's no one around to complain. This will be one of my last entries, if not the last. I am feeling very weak today, and I am under no delusions regarding what is in my future. Just like so many others before me, I will certainly die sometime soon as a result of that senseless nuclear holocaust. To the best of my knowledge, I am the sole survivor. I still can't believe that all of human civilization will end this way. This, how could... There is no... Neighbor Gear, why did you leave me? There's got to be more to life than this. Can somebody tell me what it is? There has to be something that makes life worth living. There's got to be more. See my life slipping away I'm haunted by the past And I'm dreading each new day I feel like my life is just passing me by I wish I
In the beginning, I thought that I would find a woman and we'd become the creators of the new world. Future generations would remember Jean Rattar as the father of civilization. Well, it's pretty obvious now that that may never happen. I'm feeling extremely lonely. 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 Loneliness is absolute and indescribable. Absolute lonely. Way beyond what anyone else could ever imagine. Way beyond. There is nowhere I could go to fight it off. There is no one to talk to. There is no hope. There is no point to this. You know my name. I've come to take you home. My experiment here has been a complete failure. Failure. 